Liz Lawrence and I'm doing an interview and session for Swash TV. So, darling, yeah, you got me so caught up in your eyes, I can see no sin. Making me mad, darling Driving my young heart Door up the wall But only you can bring me down I started in music At quite a young age um, My grandma was a piano teacher She used to teach me to play Not that I can play anymore um, I picked up guitar at a really young age I was about 8 years old My dad got me a guitar from a second hand shop and uh, taught me how to play uh, from the David Bowie songbook that we found in the cellar. And then I was in kind of punk and reggae and ska bands in my teens. And then just led on to doing what I'm, what I'm doing now, so. That's the best place I've performed. I've performed, I've been lucky enough to perform at like really quite a few strange places. Like I played uh, in this place in Switzerland, in Zurich, uh, which is called Seabad Endgame, which is like a floating stage on this lake which was amazing, except there was a thunderstorm and the stage got hit by lightning, which was totally nuts, it's another story. Um, I love like uh, these kind of small, intimate venues, like the place I played last night, which was Green Night in Camden. Um, and then also this, this house tour that, that um, I did in January, so playing in all sorts of different people's living rooms. And, I play like really big mansions and then like students kind of digs and yeah, it's nice, every gig is different. So don't you dare, no don't you dare, don't you dare tell me yeah. I'm very serious, I, I, don't, I don't do funny moments, but uh, that's, it's one of those really hard questions people always go like, have you ever you know, embarrass yourself on stage or but generally like studio banter, you know, things that people say quite make me laugh, like, yeah, you know, that was really hot Liz, yeah. Can we have that take again? And that kind of stuff. And the kind of polite, um, yeah, one more for luck kind of stuff. I, I quite enjoy that, because that means that was rubbish, can we do it again? comes from the weirdest, the strangest places. Like I wrote this song that was inspired by the fact that I moved to this new flat that uh, the window of my bedroom faced out onto a funeral director's and, and I, I used that in the song because I was like, that's a pretty, pretty rubbish omen really, waking up to that every morning. 2013, um, well I've got a lot of touring. Um, I'm touring with a, a guy called Colin Burncombe who's a brilliant songwriter in April and we're doing a lot of UK tour. Um, and I'm starting, I'm writing a new EP and start recording that uh, tomorrow actually. And that should be done by the end of April, so released by kind of May, June. Um, and then hopefully like a few festivals, uh, hopefully get to go back to Germany and Belgium and places like that again. Oh, iPhone, yeah. It won't be much because it's new, but therefore yeah, probably listed like uh, at this day. And luckily I'm not on it, so it's not going to be me, which is good. Um, so, shuffle, first song. Is that Rocky? <laughs> which is nothing like what I do. <laughs> there we go. Like Facebook, Twitter is places you can keep in touch, and YouTube, uh, SoundCloud. I don't do MySpace, so don't go there. Um, I think Spotify, iTunes, you know. The usual. Google me. I'm in a family now, and I'm singing these same old songs in empty bottles here restaurants. But it feels like a matter of days, and I can run all the games we play, sitting on the rooftops after dark.
looking in the sky and meeting the stars. I'm my heart been torn in two. Sure, I hope it doesn't happen to you. Sitting on the rooftops after dark, drinking in the sky and meeting the stars.